Today we're going to transform a graph. So we're given this graph y equals f of x, and we're told to uh, gra uh, do the transformations according to what you see here in part A. You'll notice that there are going to be three transformations. First, this negative sign uh, inside the parentheses of f of x uh, indicates that there's going to be a reflection about the y-axis. So we might make a note that step one, there's going to be a reflection about the y-axis. And then we'll notice step two, this uh, plus three here, will indicate that the graph is going to move three units to the left. And finally, we notice that this negative five uh, means we're gonna be moving the graph down five units. So we're going to do this for each of the points that you see on the graph. We'll go from left to right and do each of those transformations. So taking the graph, uh, the point on the left, according to this, we're going to reflect it about the y-axis. So this point, which is at 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 5, negative 1, will move to positive 5, 1. So this point moves to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five 1 there. But it also has to move three units to the left. So we move it three units to the left, one, two, three, and then it ends up there, and we'll cross it out. And finally, we have to move it down five units. So one, two, three, four, five, cross that out, and it finally ends up over there. I'll call that point A. And the corresponding point A has moved down to here. So now let's look at a point B. And what we'll do is we will erase those intermediate points to make it a little bit easier. So let's look at point B. Once again, we can do the same thing. It's going to be reflected about the y-axis. So this point at 1, 2, 3, 3, uh, negative 3, comma 1 is now going to go to 3, comma 1. And then it moves three units to the left. So we move it three units to the left. One, two, one, two, three, and it moves there. And finally, we have to move it down five units. So one, two, three, four, five, and that's where point B finally ends up. And we will erase the intermediate points. But just for, before we do that, just remember, the negative sign in the parentheses, the red indicates reflecting about the y-axis. So this point B moved to the red point. And, and then it moved three units to the left, so which moves to the blue point. And finally, it moves down five units, which moves to finally point B. So reflection, move, move. Let's erase the intermediate points. Let's try it again. So we'll go to point C. Point C, uh, according to negative sign, uh, the red ne uh, ne sign that we circled with red inside the F says that reflecting it about the y-axis. So point C, which was at negative 1, 1, because moves over to 1, 1. Then we know we have to move three units to the left because we have an x plus 3. And... Therefore, this red line point moves three units to the left. One, two, three. We move it uh, right to here. And finally, which is at negative two, two, uh, negative two, one. And finally, we know we have to move down five units. So we just move it down. One, two, three, four, five. And that's where point C ends up. And once again, we've moved it. Uh, reflect about the y-axis, which gives you the red point. We move it three units to the left, which gives you the blue point. Oops. And finally, we move it five units down, which gives you um, our point C. 
Let's erase the intermediate points. And let's move on. Okay, we only have two more. Uh, well, actually, we have three more, but one, well, let's see how that goes. So point D, reflect about the y-axis, which means basically it stays the same because it's right on the y-axis. It moves three units to the left. One, two, three. So point D will move there. And finally, it will move down five units. One, two, three, four, five. And there is point D. And we're done. We'll raise the intermediate points. And um, let's move on. Uh, point E is here. Reflect about the y-axis. So it moves to here. Moves down three units. I'm sorry, moves three units to the left. So it goes one, two, three. Now it moves to here. And finally, it moves down five units. So it goes one, two, three, four, five. And that is point E. And we're done. We'll erase the intermediate points. And finally, our last one is point F. And point F, we reflect about the y-axis. So it was at point 1, 2, 3, comma 2. So now we'll be at negative 3, comma 2. It moves 3 units to the left. So 1, 2, 3, it moves to there. At 2, 1, 2, 3. Negative 6, 2. And finally, it moves down 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that is point F. Let's erase the intermediate points. And we are done. Erase point B by accident. So just to summarize, We'll notice in, uh, the transformations, the negative sign in f of negative x plus 3 minus 5, the negative sign means we're going to reflect it, the point, each point about the y-axis. The plus 3 means we're going to be moving it to the left, 3 units. And finally, the minus 5 means we're going to move it f down 5 units. And now we just have to connect it all up. So notice point A connects to point B. So we'll do that. Point B connects to point C, which we accidentally erased. Let's put it back up there. C connects to D. D connects to E. And E connects to F. And this is the graph after, this has, been, after it has been transformed. And we're done.